What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You have Brody and Silver Sage back here again with another exciting video today. I think we're calling this the Bro Show. That sounds right to me. Uh, two bros and a bunch of dough. Uh, today, <laughs> we're opening more Monopoly Prism, as you can see in front of me. Very excited to rip into this stuff because last time it was a lot of fun. Before we go into this, though, Sage, we have a lot of exciting stuff. And I'm going to show some of these cards if you want to maybe tell people about our eBay store. All these cards I'm showing are either on our eBay store right now or will be in the next few days. So if you want to tell a little bit about the eBay, um, you can click the link in the description if you want to go check out. These are all the cards that we have up there right now. Yeah, so every card we open on this channel, we have a tough decision in – it really is tough sometimes, and it's either we keep it or we put it on the eBay store. And I assure you, Brody and I go back and forth on cards we want to keep. But if it does make it on the eBay store, every cent we earn from that sale goes right back into the channel, right back into the hobby boxes, the blasters, the Monopoly boxes, whatever it is, and we open more packs. So. Please support us on our eBay store. Brody, Kelsey, and I all run this store, and we want to give the cards to the people. So go on in, make a bid. That the, Those checkerboards are pretty. Those green waves are pretty. The red, white, and blue, the fireworks, you love to see it. So go cast a bid on the eBay store, which is going to be linked in. So thank you for your support in advance. We really appreciate it. You guys are what keeps this channel going. Am I right, Brody? Yes, 100%. The cards, the viewers, everything is what keeps it going. And we've been having a blast so far. We just eclipsed 6,000 subscribers. So Amazing. We, are, we are on our way to 10,000. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free. Drop a like down on the video, completely free. And leave a comment. Let us know how you guys are liking the channel. But today, Sage, I have bought myself a Monopoly board game. So we opened some of these blasters the other day. And this is where you get like the cards, right? But these are meant to be played on this board game. And you, uh, you looked up this board game and you yeah. tried to figure it out. How did that go? <laughs> okay, so first, any TCG fans out there, that's trading card games. Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Weiss. One Piece. Uh, One Piece, whatever it is. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu oh, thank you. Yu-Gi-Oh. Put it in the comments. What's your favorite TCG? If you're out there, put it in the comments. But, yes, what you were opening last time is called a booster pack. It's just yeah. the extra cards. You have right here in front of us the actual <laughs> game. The actual game itself. And yes, I did look it up, and the rules were out of this world. I could barely follow it. There's no community Sage. chess. Sage. There's no eight, chance. Eight, eight and up, Sage. Eight and up. It's for an eight-year-old. <laughs> There's no community chess. There's no chance. There is a bunch of games around the board, and I was just like so overwhelmed right off the bat. And I was like, I do not think I can explain this cleanly or clearly to anybody so, so let's just dive in let's just dive in <laughs> before we go though i almost forgot we are doing a giveaway right now this is a pretty special one you have a chance to win one of kelsey's dallas cowboy cheerleaders signed uh they call them i think uh dancing girls or something i think is what they call so you can win yourself one of these and we're also giving away a Raiderettes full team. I think she's going to sign this one as well. And all the girls are on the back as their individual. And she is right here. So you can win one of these if you are at all interested by going back to our last live stream with me and Kelsey. I think it's called like downtown hunting or something. Going on there, all the rules will be in the description. But go over, like, subscribe that video, drop the comment that you need to drop to be entered. And you can win one of those signed uh, posters there from Kelsey. So very cool. So, um, all right. So you get, Sage, the cool thing about this is you get one starter pack in this box. Yes. And in that starter pack is a Wimby. 
So you automatically get a Wimby in every one of these boxes. These boxes retail for $40. You also get two prison packs. And I don't know what they call these, but you can see this design is you get one per pack. And it looks sick. That I looks amazing. Know, I don't know. Uh, do you want to look up what that is right now going for for Wimby? If you yeah, sure. I don't know what it's called. Um, I'm trying to look to see. Maybe it's actually on the box when you open it. But uh, this is forty dollars. Like I said, you can find these in your local targets. Now these are going to be back in the game section, the board game section. I actually completely whiffed my first target visit. I went with the, after a restock, and I went to the sports cards, and I couldn't find any pr Prism Monopoly. And it's because it's not there, guys. If you're looking for these boxes, they are hard to find. But if you are looking for them, they're going to be next to the board games back by uh, back in the board game. So you have to find the Monopoly board game. Then you can find these. These will not be on the shelves with all the other sports cards. I had to learn that the hard way. So here <laughs> you go. This is the uh, These are the packs that we want to pull something really, really cool out of comes with some dice oh my gosh have you seen these sage what the heck are these so these are like okay we're not even gonna worry about that what's in this <laughs> oh these are the pieces so you get like little little basketball pieces okay that's pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool all right how are you doing with that that wimby you know what that you know what it's called i'm looking up right now there's so many different parallels uh this is the starter pack We'll open that first to get our normal Wimby. All right, I'm gonna put this back together because me and Kelsey might try to learn how to play this game. All right. I, I hope you do, and I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Because, oh, here we go. Uh, I can tell you right here. It's a uh, red classic icons. Look up that. Okay, that should help. Red classic icons should get you to where you need to go. All right, we're opening up the starter pack, eight cards. This will be one of each of the initial players here. I don't know if really any of these cards are worth anything except for the Wimby. And if you want to look up that too, Sage, I didn't look that up beforehand. So I don't know. I think maybe it's going for like 10 bucks or something. All right, Wimby, Red there it is. Icons, Prism. Okay, that, that's not the – yeah, that's the no, – that one's about – yeah, yeah, that one's about $12. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the Wimby Red Icons, what's your guess? There's an auction that ended uh, eight days ago. I'm going to say like $800. Very close, $600. Yeah, I've gotten uh, – I feel like I've gotten decently good at guessing these. Yeah, I'm not really quite sure if any of these are worth anything. You get a Steph Curry, you get a Joker – you get a Luca, Giannis. I mean, you get some of the biggest names in basketball right now. So that is cool. Uh, but yeah. this is what we're really after, Sage. Now, again, a, a kind of a cool thing, right? Because if you are going to sell this Wimby, like you just said, 12 bucks, that board game costs 40. So you're already back to 28. So you really just need to hit one decent card, maybe on here and you might be able to get your money back you might make a little bit yes so that is nice having that auto wimby because it drops the floor or i guess it yes. raises the floor right all right here yes. we go there is the crazy card in the back or no maybe we'd only get one crazy card oh we only get one crazy oh no this is it oh a Giannis. oh that i'm not mad about that that a Giannis. that could be something sage PS5, also a very good gaming system, is his number. Mm -hmm. So this is Giannis on the, um, they call this like, a, I think that the score, um, what are they called? Yeah, here we go, $15 card, $15. $15, yeah, so there we go. We're already at $27. There's a couple of players that just are always good, and Giannis is in that, Giannis is, is, is on that list. <laughs> Well, let's, let's get one more of those guys right here, shall we? Okay, there it is. It's in the back. Oh, we have a uh, Jaime. Okay, hold on. I've been practicing. Jaime Jaquez. Jaquez. Yes. Jaime Jaquez. <laughs> Triple J. Got, <laughs> Triple J. 
All right, Jaime's not a bad hit there for the rookie. Aluka. All right, here Luka's we go. One of those Come guys. On. Come on. Spurs one time. Come on. Celtics. Jason not a Tatum. rookie. Jason Tatum. 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 Mm. Oh, wrong guy. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Robert Williams the third. We'll still sleeve him up. I don't know if he deserves a top loader. It's probably only a three dollar no. card or something. But uh, Sage yeah. says absolutely not. Do not sleep up. <laughs> so that is that's the board game. We're gonna open a couple of the booster, what we would call blasters. I gotta move this trash. I gotta move this trash can closer to me. What am I doing? There we go. What you would call blasters normally, I guess you call these boosters. It was funny too because I was checking out, and the target guy when I was checking out, Sage looked at me like, "What the heck are these?" He's like, <laughs> he's, like he's never. He's never seen them before because the target I bought these at, they actually, they're so new. I don't think they have a connection with the distributor yet. So they don't even have sports cards mm. there. So that's why, um, that's why I think he was very confused because they don't have sports cards. And yet here I am rolling up with some sports cards. So yeah, um, n- normally they're called blasters, but in this case, they're boosters because they boost your initial investment in the board game, and uh, so we, they, I guess we can call them boost. boost we can call them booster packs because every prism card you pull from here helps you defeat Kelsey and the match you're about to have. <laughs> Are me and Kelsey about to live stream us playing this game? <laughs> yes. Oh, right, here don't, we go. Don't tell Anthony her you had these boot had these boosters. Just show up with with these prism cards yes. and see what see what happens. She just gets the starter set, and I get to just dominate her with all these boosters. All right, Jimmy Butler Clippers is going to be Paul George. All right, Paul George. All right, all right. That guy had a nasty leg snap at UNLV, where uh, his bone just came out of his uh, body. Paul yeah. George? Yeah. No, I it think took him. Wait, are you are you talking? I think I'm thinking of someone else. It's a bonus. Yeah. Oh, another Jaime. Luca. I think I'm thinking of um who was the one in college that had that super nasty break on the court? Ooh. It was like one oh. of the worst. Oh gosh. Yes. I couldn't watch it. It was so bad. Was he te- Oklahoma a- State? Yeah, like shooting a three, it just wrecked him. Yeah. I think it's Oklahoma uh, State. All right, LaMelo Ball, Alexander, and a Kobe Bufkin. I just saw one of the greens out of here. There's a Wimby green for auction right now. And I think it's at like, oh gosh, what was that? $800. Jet Howard, Steph Curry, Grady Dick. And, ooh, there we go. Scoot Henderson on the purple. All right, all right. Scoots, I think he's been playing pretty good too, from what I've seen yeah. seeing on social. I think I cursed him a little bit. He had like thirty nine free throws in a row, and he made oh, number yeah. forty. He made number forty, and I was like, "Wow, this guy's really good at free throws." And he missed the next one, and that was the only one I watched. And I was like, "Oh no, that's my <laughs> that's my that's my fault, Scoot." <laughs> How many free throws do you think you could make in a row? Right oh, now, about. if if I gave you thirty minutes, what would be the longest oh. streak you would have? In thirty minutes, what was the lo- what would be the longest streak you could you could put together? Uh, eight, I think. That's it. Yeah, it's not pretty eight? right now. <laughs> yes, oh <laughs> I was gonna God. say I was gonna say like three, but then you gave me thirty minutes, so I figured I should up it to eight. <laughs> You're not shooting on a double rim. <laughs> yeah. I think you gotta give yourself a little more credit than eight. No, if I if I go cold to the free throw line and I have ten to shoot, I go six or seven out of ten. But to make to make a bunch in a row, the pressure starts building. You start to you start to you start to feel it a little bit. I think I, I would can, hope you. I would hope you get double digits. I there's only one way to find one out. time. Yeah, you might have to try it. All right, here we go. We're on the second booster already. Kyle Kuzma, uh, one of the Thompson twins, Markinen, and Kuminga. Jonathan Kuminga. Yeah. Can we just That's talk about that guy for a second? Uh, Let's talk about he, it. Jo- 
he joined the Warriors. He was a little timid at first. He was a top pick, and now all of a sudden he's taking over the league. He's just dunking on everybody. He's taking. Oh, I have a question to ask you too, because I just read a comment that I think yeah. you need to ad- address. Oh no! Someone said. Someone said that they're your friend. Now, grants the internet, so you can't trust everything you see or read. But someone is claiming that they're your friend. And that you guys played Monopoly one time and you quit. You quit middle of the game. <laughs> For someone talking so highly about the game of Monopoly, you just quit. Do you okay. do you hold, confirm or deny this? Hold on. Let's put that on pause. Let me finish my Kaminga story. The guys, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll come back to that. But uh, the guy's taking over the league. All he does is jam now, and he set a Warriors record for most field goals without a miss in a single game. I think he, he, oh, hey, not a bad Heat guy. Uh, I think he had twelve for twelve and ten rebounds. Uh, he's really coming to his own, and he's just attacking the rim. And I love to see that of about a young guy, Kaminga, and he put Clay Thompson, Hall of Famer, to the bench. This guy. So, uh, <laughs> but back back to Monopoly. There was some controversy in my house regarding Monopoly. He must have been my friend. I think he knows. I know what he's talking about. And he made some illegal trades. Because oh. of those illegal trades, I could not stand it anymore. There was no commissioner. It was not a fair trade. I don't know. Have you been a part of these games where they just start trading off things? It wrecks oh, the whole I game. Think, I think you have to have like a group consensus that the trade is fair. There was no group consensus. He was trading railroads away to my girlfriend at the time, now my wife, and I had to I had to leave the game. <laughs> so All right, that, well, that is true. <laughs> well, we do have a light blue here, Sage, and I believe this is numbered out of 129. So this is this could be a big one here for us. If it's the right team, Suns, not a rookie. Booker. Not a rookie. Booker. All right, we got a Booker. No, it's out of oh no, it's out of one ninety nine. Excuse me, nine nine out of one ninety nine. There, Devin Booker on the light blue. This could be what ten dollar card maybe. Yeah, seven seven dollars is the last comp, but yeah, could go for ten. Yeah, ten bucks maybe something like that. All right, Imag- imagine well, pulling number one. Then. Imagine pulling number yeah, one number in ninety nine. It's oh, a one of, it's a co- it's a one first print and a jersey number. That would be sweet. Double whammy. Is double is whammy. Wim, is Wimby also number one? I think right. Uh, yeah. What number? I think is he one or eleven? I think he's one. He's got a one just by himself on this. He might just be one. All right, Tyrese Maxey, Trey Young, Kevin Durant, and Nikolai Jokic. Uh, that was a bad pack. All right, we have made it to the final pack. If you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for watching our videos. We truly do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. Drop a like on the video as well. It is also completely free. And uh, we look forward to ripping more packs for you guys. Yeah. We'll see Tell- if we can send you off in a good one here. He is number your one. Friends, so- is that what you going to say? No, I was going to say, tell us your worst Monopoly story down in the comments. And... Uh- Cavs. Not a rookie. Evan Mobley. Mobley. Second year, right? USC. I think. Second year. Evan Mobley, number four. And uh, yeah, you know, we didn't do... I I would say we didn't do incredible, but uh, we didn't do terrible either. Picking up a couple, you know, a couple decent cards. I mean, we obviously did get the victor here. That was the only victor that we ended up pulling. (laughs) And uh, our purples, our purple waves, we had Evan Mobley, Jimmy Butler, Scoot Henderson also is probably a good one. Did we ever look up the, how much that was? Probably close to 10 it. bucks, I would say. 10, 7 bucks. And then we get our, we got one number card, which, you know, again, we only opened two of these booster blast blasters. So one number card there on the light blue out of 199. And then um, I forget what I call these. Red icons, I think. Red icons, Giannis on the red yep. icon. So, Scoot's worth not about too 11, bad. $11 for the Scoot, so we'll take it. 
Oh, let me let me let me top load this guy. My apologies. <laughs> so, Prison Monopoly continues to be one of my favorite basketball products to open. I don't think I'm going to be opening any more Don Russ. I, I have a couple more boxes I have to rip, but after that, I don't think I'm going to be buying any more Don Russ. It's going to be mostly Prism Monopoly, I think, or Prism. And uh, I saw they just had that choice come out on um, Dutch, Dutch Auction. Dutch, Dutch, no, it wasn't even on Dutch Auction. I think it was just selling for like a ridiculous amount. How much was that selling for? It sold for a lot. I didn't think it was going to sell out. It sold out immediately. So <laughs> who the flip knows? People, Wimby's are, Wimby is just causing the market to absolutely skyrocket, which it's fine. What, it is what it what, is. We're what just going to probably shy on. What was the product? Uh, the it, was pr- it, was pr- it was Prism Choice. Prism so Choice. So it's, okay. it's the one that's like a little bit lower. So I think it goes oh. Hobby, Choice, and then Fast Break. Yes. So it was the one that was just a little bit lower, but I still think it sold for like six hundred dollars. Yeah. I want to say, and sold out really, really quickly. So, um, all right. Well, that's the video. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.